Hey, welcome back to Max Nafe Horsemanship. And, well, it's not baby steps anymore, although we do still have one of them. Now, I remember I said uh, at near the end of my series that I'm not done with these ones. And as you can see, she's grown up a fair bit since I started, because that was almost a year ago when she was only about six months old. Now, she's about a year and a half now, and but still nowhere near ready to be ridden. But... Uh, in a future video, I'm going to show you some things that you can do to start your horse under saddle without ever getting on it. And uh, I'll show you how I do that. But <clears throat> I, I did say uh, I'm going to continue with things. Now, one of the things that uh, I showed you is uh, how to get your horse to side pass towards you using this stick. How you would put it over the side of the horse and tap on the off side draw it towards you well I just got it just so you you know what remember what I was talking about this thing I used and but we're not going to use it today because I'm going to show you the progress we've made and I want to show you a couple of things actually today of progress that we've made with this horse uh, we've made progress with the other one as well but uh, this one's in here right now so we'll, I'll just show you and uh, like I said I haven't stopped working with them not quite as much as I did before a little bit less but uh, we're still doing things but okay see this thing we don't need it anymore we've progressed long past that uh, I think I will put a lead on although I'm not sure I even need one because uh, she's very close to we might be able to do this at Liberty pretty soon it's pretty windy today so she's a little jumpy kind of to be expected I guess yeah it's a good girl Well, pay attention, folks. Good girl. Well, I told you that's what it leads up to. That's what we're trying to do. Is uh, we're working on, you know, improving things. And I told you at the beginning that that's the goal is that eventually when you're using the stick, uh, pretty soon you don't have to tap, you just lift the stick up and eventually you don't even need the stick. Well, we've gotten to the point now where we don't even need the stick. She does it really well without one. And uh, I want to show you something else too is uh, uh, where the, the mounting block thing leads up to because I, I talked a bit about how that's real handy whether you use a mounting block or not. But uh, I kind of like to nowadays because it's actually a lot easier on the horse and me and the horse okay anyhow but uh, she has improved to the point where uh, a few times now we've actually even done it at Liberty which ideally is what you want to get is you want to get it good enough that the horse will side up to the mounting block at Liberty so that uh, when you got reins on or whatever and you don't have a lead on uh, and you can't just lead the horse over there. You want to be able to just walk up onto the mounting block and say, hey, come on, get over here. This is where I want you. This is what we need you to do. So that's exactly what I'm going to do today. And uh, let's see how well this works. There we go. Well, as you can see, uh, the lead on her, it's hanging around my neck. And where is she? Right where she's supposed to be. And all I had to do was stand up here, stick my hand out, and say, come on over here. And she's exactly where she's supposed to be. And these are the things that you work up to. And uh, eventually, uh, once the horse is ready to be ridden, then you'll grab the rein, pull them off, and climb on, blah, blah, all that good stuff. I'll show you that in another video, though, because there's some tricks to getting on, and, well, even a starting a horse that's never been ridden before, there's a few little things you can do. And, uh, well, one of them is stuff I'm doing right now, is uh, I'm putting a little pressure on her back and rubbing on her, and I rub on her as far as I can reach over without losing my balance, because i got nothing to hang on to at the moment, but I'll show you a trick on that one, too. But we're just getting her used to... Uh, Things are going to happen on her back around here. Oh, I didn't ask you to move away. Thank you. 
Good girl. Now see how the, the two things go together? Getting them to move over side pass towards you and the mounting block. Two things, both go together. And this is the progress that we've made. Now yeah, as you can see, uh, she's grown up quite a bit. She's not a little baby anymore. In fact, uh, she can easily block my view. So, you know, she's grown up, but she's still not ready to be ridden yet. But it's just, uh, like I said, take your time. You know, go slow and you'll make progress. And I'm going to show you in a, a video I'm going to do in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do one on uh, starting a horse under saddle and things uh, that you need to do there. And there are things that we can start doing with these ones, even though they're nowhere near ready to be ridden yet, as far as age goes. Uh, some people think starting two-year-olds is still okay, and by spring they will be too. But uh, I, I don't agree with that. I think maybe four is a much better age, and even then, take it easy, because it has been proven, scientifically proven, that they are not fully physically developed until six years of age. So... Uh, we don't want to put any undue stress on their little bodies up until that point. And uh, if you ride hard at an early age, well, you may end up with lifelong problems with your horse. So uh, sometimes taking your time and going slow can really save you a lot of grief in the long run. So anyhow, I uh, hope that uh, helps and shows you what we've been working up to is, you know, little things where, uh, you know, everything gets improved, everything gets better. And, uh, you know, pretty soon this horse is going to be doing fantastic stuff. And, uh, yeah, I only showed you the one horse, but the other one, she can do it too. Uh, not quite as well as this one. Well, this one, you know, these particular tasks she's really good at. Uh, there's a few things the other one can actually do better. But that's okay, you know, they all have their strengths and weaknesses. Remember, like I said, no two are alike. They're all a little bit different. And uh, yours is going to be different too. So, uh, hope that helps you out a little bit and uh, gives you an idea of what you're working up to. Uh, some of the things that I've shown you may not seem real practical or sensible, and you might wonder why we're bothering, but, well, this is it. You're, you're seeing what happens eventually, that uh, this is what we're working up to, and this is what you can have, too. So uh, take your time, go play with your horse, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.